one of the best things that we got out of this exercise is to see, okay guys, let's sit around that table and really look through this list again and crank through it and see how we're going to approach it these different uh, efforts. And so that was really helpful. We de-lamped half of our lights and we saved a good deal of energy there. I could tell you a little bit about the biking program that we started because majority of our folks are within walking distance and they're already biking anyway, but in kind of formalizing this into a policy, not only was that a good benefit, but it helped build culture. It helped say, look, that we support this. This is part of our DNA. Everybody has to start somewhere, right? When you're in the small business category, if we get a bunch of small businesses together, we're like crowdsourcing innovation on what you can do with these things. Because when you're small, whether in a big company or as a small company, you can be nimble, you can be innovative, um, you can aggregate with other folks and you get a lot of little folks thinking about these things. And before you know it, you have big answers. So I would argue that whether you're thinking big, your company has 50,000 people, or 5,000 people, or 50, or five, that you have to start somewhere and to think small so that you can think big.